no, no. They haven't determined yet what quantum, what is in the quantum vacuum. It is something which is like a, in, it's, it's quantum mechanics still in its infancy. So there are many things they don't know. But no scientist will tell you that quantum vacuum is nothing. So once again, does something come from nothing? So I'll wait for the scientific explanation. The scientific explanation already gave you. Brother, they already gave the explanation. It comes from the quantum vacuum. And quantum vacuum, no one defines it as nothing. It's a vacuum? Yeah, it has properties. Does, does nothing have properties? Huh? It doesn't transmit, for example, sounds. It doesn't transmit, it doesn't transmit light. No, no, he does, he does trust science. Yeah, he does. From what he's saying, he does trust science. Though it's a bit... Yeah. Yeah. No, but the thing we didn't, we didn't conclude the nothingness. No, no, but no one says quantum vacuum is nothing. We concluded that, I don't know, there's a brother who said, nothing is actually a concept. Just like infinity is a con concept, nothing is a concept. Yeah. What about numbers? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we know, we know, abstracts. Yeah. yeah, so abstracts are concepts as well. So another form of concept. But we can manifest those into reality. How? How are we going to manifest one? I think I can get. You can describe okay. something as one, yeah. but, but, no? but then one can be many things, like one tree, one human, one cat. They're all different forms of one? No, this is how we as an abstract form define numerically yeah. how we describe things. Okay. It's Go only on. an abstract, okay. remember. So once again, nothing is not, doesn't exist, it's, it's, it's a concept. In order for us to communicate, just like we use numbers, yeah. we use things like nothing, something, everything, infinity. Yeah, this is in order for us to communicate, in order to formulate things in mathematics. I get that now. So it's Good. a descriptor. Yeah, so the bottom line here is it doesn't exist okay. in reality. Let me agree with you. So it exists in your head. Yeah. It can exist in your mind. Okay. But even then, I think very few people will be able to grasp actions of everything. Because you're always looking at something, isn't it? Always you're always about thinking about something. Is something. So that's what I'm saying. The best way to describe it is absence of everything. Okay? So, the, the initial question was... Can something... I don't know, sorry, I wasn't here. Do you believe in chance? I, and I said I believe in chance. Depends on it. I think it's better. research. <laughs> so... She said yeah. about chance, and I said yes, there's chance. There's a chance of things happening. Yeah, but chance like Ali described, or chance like random? Both. No, no, there's a difference. There's a difference. Yeah. Something which is calculated based on the factors affecting and that is not chance because you can you can actually predict it. Like the weather. You know the weather is dependent on many different factors. Yes? So would you say it rained by chance? It all those factors came together and it rained. So Even then a, the weather forecast gets it wrong many times. Going on there. So what I'm specifically on about, yeah. explicitly, is the creation of the universe. It's not chance. There's no because chance. The, the creation. There's no chance no. that these atoms could have popped out of nowhere. That's why I said nothing cannot create something because nothing doesn't even exist. So That was the whole point I was making along this argument. I get it. You agreed with Ali. I agree. When he said I, the... I, I, I <laughs> so, um, He can't do that with me. <laughs> I'm not generally all the time. Your creator, he made something from... No, no, before you go to my creator, I want to take it from your perspective. My perspective. Okay? Because my perspective is pretty clear. We have one God yeah. who created everything, uh -huh. you and me, the universe, everything, and he, he, he sustains all this. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's pretty much clear from my perspective. So it might seem very simplistic to you, yeah. but to be honest with you, even logically thinking, like I said, something cannot come from uh, uh, nothing. So you must have something. This is God human. Came from Say again. God came from nothing. God came from nothing. You know that argument itself implies you don't know who God is or what God is, because God doesn't come. God always existed. No, come means originate from. There's a difference. Come from, okay, doesn't apply to God because he always existed. If something is, is something is eternal, yes, then it doesn't need to come into existence. The cause and effect, the Kalam cosmological argument goes like this. If something begins to exist, then it must have a cause. And this cause has to be something. It cannot be nothing. Huh? You guys want to go? Ball is in your court now. Give me two. Have we investigated all possibilities? Show me another possibility. I gave you the simplistic understanding of 
the possibilities as being something or nothing. We already ruled out nothing. The only thing now exists is something. So before we define the something, you show me what are the other possibilities. Go on. Ball is still in your court. What was in my court? Yeah, probably. I have no answer. I do not know. Because there cannot be an alternative. You cannot have nothing as an alternative. You must have something as an alternative. So the only, yeah, yeah, the only logical alternative is it has, there is something. And that's something. And that's there is not something. No, no, there is something. Of course, it cannot be nothing. Don't cut to me. No, there is something or there's not something. Yeah, but it doesn't apply in this case. We already ruled out not something, which is nothing. Once again, if it's not something, it's nothing. Is Unless you can give me an example of there, not something. There is a correct answer, or there's not a correct answer. No, you're jumping the gun. We haven't no, that's, talked. That's the no, 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 no. You, you have to first define what a creator is before you say there is no creator. I define nothing. Remember, you define creator to me now. I never said there is a creator. I'm not a certain. No, you gave me the dichotomy. Now you have to define the two different uh, alternatives that you have: a creator or no creator. So go on, define what a creator is and what a non-creator is. To me, a non-creator would be a creation, if you ask me. Simple as that. Your assertion is a creator. I, I told you I don't want to jump the gun, remember? Yeah. In fact, the reason I didn't do that is because I don't want someone who is agnostic or an atheist to first start with the notion that there is a creator. I want to take it to you in what you believe as logic, rationality, science. Okay? I gave you logic, something and nothing, the definition of nothing. I gave you something from, uh, from science, like for example, uh, the cosmological argument, yes? The cause and effect, that is science. If you want, I could have just jumped into the spiritual belief as a religion, believing in God, but then obviously it wouldn't be neither here nor there for you because you don't believe in that. So I will, I will take you along the path that you believe in, that you have faith in. No? Please don't. Why not? Because a, I would do that honestly if it was my child or if it was my friend. I would go along the path of what they already believe. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about the creator. Come on. Define creator. Let's see. Let's go with my uh, my way of thinking, my way of understanding. Go on. Define to me a creator. I don't know. So don't bring up those terms next time. Creator, non-creator. Why would you use terms that you don't know? I'm not. I'm using your your own words. Your terms. The one that you. Hold on. Did I do that? I was taking him along the path that he believes in. I was trying to avoid the term creator all along. Okay. I tell you what, you know what? Let me take you to something that you firmly believe in. By the way, do you believe in science? Do you believe in empirical evidence? Some sort of belief system. Okay, no. Do you know about empirical evidence? Okay. I know some people like to use these words to. Okay. Empirical evidence is what? Using the data to show evidence. Very good. Do you need to have observable, testable information or do you just have information like the concept that I gave you? The latter. So you, what, just a concept? Not on, on all occasions. You mean the former? Sorry, on the former. Yeah. Not on all occasions do you need. Okay. What information or knowledge will convince you that you have consciousness? That is empiric that comes under empirical evidence. That's a tough one. It's a very, very tough one. You got me. You got me. You know why? You know why many people struggle with this? Because, by the way, it's not just you. It is something that the scientists themselves call it the hard problem of consciousness. The reason for that is because conscious is not something that you have data on in terms of because you know you might perceive things differently as having a conscious individual to your friend over there to the sisters here to myself we might see the same thing but we have different way of perceiving it yes we all will agree on one thing that we all have consciousness because there are faculties that you're using right now you're questioning your rationality yes. everything depends on your consciousness uh -huh. yet you have no evidence for consciousness that is the beauty of what 
you as a creation of God are. That Gosh, even sorry. you as a creation of God is. I'll tell you why you brought God here. Wait, 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 because wait. even without your empirical evidence, Whoa. wait, wait, I'm getting wait, there. Get, get, I'm coming. I'm coming there. Where did, God, where did God come from, bro? I'm coming. I'm coming. We're talking about empirical, empirical. As soon as the word God comes, he gets all alert. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like some sort of a bad word for him or something. By the way, listen. The reason I brought God in is because with your empirical evidence, sorry, with your lack of empirical evidence. You already believe in something which is closer to you than your other belief, which is God Almighty. No, no. Do you believe you have consciousness? Do you believe? Do you believe you have consciousness? Seriously? He needs to think about that? He's using his consciousness right now. The fact that he's thinking about it... I'm using my faculties. Which is based on your consciousness. My senses. Your consciousness again. My mind. Your consciousness again. All of that, the central core of that is your consciousness. It's my brain. You know, trust me, without... When you when you are in a vegetative state... You. Bro, I don't know you. Bro, 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 you don't need to know me. When you go to a hospital with yeah. a person in a vegetative state, he is conscious. The reason he's not called a dead vegetative person is because he's still conscious. His vitals are still on. Your vitals are on because you have some sort of consciousness. Maybe it's limited to what you as a, as a person standing right now are. It's very complex. No, it's not. It's not. It's simple, brother. It's simple. Anyone who denies consciousness believes they don't exist. If you don't feel well, Anyone who denies, including an atheist, including an agnostic, including a scientist, you can never deny your consciousness, my friend. Because without that, none of your senses will work. You will not be able to communicate to me. You will not be able to reason. I don't know enough. Ah, but you believe it. That is my point exactly. Remember what you said? You need something like data. You need knowledge. Should be observable, should be testable. It's reasonable to believe. Brother, none of that comes under none of that empirical evidence applies to your consciousness for its existence. Okay. But you believe it and you know it. Use, I'm using both terms now, believe and know. <laughs> so you can you cannot deny out either, my friend. But trust me, in this case, it is a certain faith, and I would call it blind faith even. I would go to that extent. Yes. Because look, the only person who can who can actually prove your consciousness is yourself. Because you're the only one who feels things. You're the only one who says that I exist. You're the only one. But you're the only one. Good God. Say again? Yeah, I brought, the reason I brought God in is that a person cannot deny his consciousness. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Even with the, with the lack of empirical evidence. Yes. And the same person is asking for empirical evidence for God. Why? He still didn't get it, did he? Of course. Okay, let me let me backtrack. Why? Why? Because when it comes to God, you seek empirical evidence. When it comes to your consciousness, you believe it on blind faith. No, 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 no. <laughs> My friend, I'm not after empirical evidence. I like the way you took credit for all that. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ask for the mathematics of God? <laughs> like you said, the God was God. Was it? Was it God? The machine the instrument of God. God is the Godometer. Godometer. Yeah, again, you're looking for empirical evidence. That's empirical evidence. Yes. But there's also other methods to use. No, no, no. I'll tell you what. Philosophically. You, you give me a method that determines metaphysics. Go on. Because that is exactly what you're seeking. Your Godometer is the instrument which can detect metaphysics. Philosophy. And your coach, trust me. Philosophy. No, no, no. Metaphysics. Yeah. Philosophy within, is just within, comes within your consciousness within as well. Metaphysics, metaphysics within philosophy, no? No, no. Philosophy can include the study of metaphysics as well. Yeah. I'm not denying that. Yeah. But I'm saying you need an instrument to detect no, the metaphysical no, elements. I do not. So why are you asking for a barometer then? Because we was on about empiricism before. Yeah. Of course, now I'm saying I don't need a barometer. So how will you determine something that is metaphysical yeah. and it exists like your consciousness? Rational. So you can't apply rationality you because wait a minute, your rationality, that's like circular argument. Yeah. It's dependent on your consciousness. Logic. Same thing again. All that is based on your consciousness. You you can only believe in it. And I, you can only believe in it. <laughs> I am open-minded. Yeah. I want to hear your... By the way, do you believe in metaphysics? You do. Give me an example. Uh, uh, metaphysically, go on. they say. <laughs> That's a verse example. Metaphysics. What is it? What do, how do you define metaphysics? 
above physics, something uh, what, biology, <laughs> geometry, <laughs> numbers. Oh, those are sure. I wouldn't call it. Things, I wouldn't call it. No, 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 no. I wouldn't call it. Nothing is a concept. Numbers are abstract. Metaphysical things actually do exist if you believe in metaphysics, like your soul, like uh, your consciousness. Yes. What was that? No, like I said, look. A person believes in science. No, no, no. If you're going to make him, by the way, I was surprised you said you believe in metaphysics, and yet you cannot no, give me a single. No, bro, that's just an emotion. Who told you it's metaphysics? Who told you it's metaphysics? I must have got it wrong. Yeah, you definitely got it wrong. Love is emotion not is an emotion. Emotional are not metaphysical. No, they're not metaphysical in that sense. Metaphysics means something that you cannot use, sorry, you cannot use um, empirical evidence for <laughs> to determine. Emotion. Again, emotion, yes. But like I said, all these things, they emanate from consciousness. So you're, you're just telling me your consciousness. Because without consciousness, you cannot experience love. Am I right? You need to first, what you're doing is you're putting the cart before the horse. You need to first acknowledge that you have consciousness before you start. Oh, I'm agreeing with you, I have consciousness. Sorry. On what basis? Where is the evidence that you have con consciousness? I think, therefore I am. Yes, like I said, subjective. Remember you said, I think, yeah. therefore I am. So only you can imagine that. And only you can think that. Okay? So it's not, a, you know, empirical evidence is an objective evidence, by yeah. the way. Yeah. It's not subjective. Okay? okay? Otherwise the scientists will throw it, throw it out. So you wouldn't be much of a scientist if you're going based on just I think and I know. <laughs> so, again. I think angels exist. Okay? So you should believe me. I think, therefore, you should believe. No, it doesn't work like that in science. The reason scientists call it the hard problem of consciousness is for this, my friend. Are you with me? Okay, so for you to say, I believe in metaphysics, that means you believe in your soul, you believe in your consciousness, you believe all these things with zero evidence of empirical empiricism. Metaphysics is not holy. Yeah, which metaphysics, so. the whole definition of metaphysics is something beyond our naturalistic world. Yeah, which is a, a, a very number of things, no? Yeah, it so is. Not it is. But, but, you know, like I said, the whole of metaphysics. There, the, there is no empirical evidence for those things. Let's put it that simplest In the simplest form. It's the language, no? No, it's not. It's the scientific terminology. We're using fuzzy language. We have to use language to communicate. Come on. Yeah, I understand, but I'm on my fuzzy language. Whereas we can't get empirical evidence for love, but it can manifest. But you believe in it? You believe in it. Thank you. It's reasonable to believe in it. Thank you. You see how you stop using the term I know? Yes? How we start how we ended up on I believe? Yes? Which is exactly the point I was to on making. That's what I call Hadouken moment. <laughs> Alright, just like a lucky. Look, my friend. It's inevitable, trust me. It's inevitable, it's inevitable, metaphysical world. It's inevitable. Unless you stop believing in all your emotions. Yes? Trust me, you cannot go... You are pets? A cat or a dog? Okay? You cannot measure the amount of love you have for your pet and the amount of love you have for your mother. No, 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 you no, cannot no, do that. No, Science no, cannot do that. No, no, Only you can no. tell that. You're messing with the language now. I'm not. I'm messing with emotions. <laughs> it's gone deeper than that. No. Language we don't, is just we don't a, measure a medium. Love. We don't mo measure love empirically, no? You can't. No, emotionally. We're using the word measure yeah. as a... It's not like that. No, but that's what I'm telling you. Empirically, you cannot determine things like emotions, like love, no, but like hate. No, but when you mention measure, yeah. What's the thing in the people's yeah. heads? Uh, I'm using empirical it's evidence. Not empirical, though, is it? It is. Measure, not, measurement is empirical. Measurement is empirical. Yes. But the way you're using it for love is wrong. No, I'm saying you cannot use yeah, you cannot. empirical evidence for love. Yeah, you use a mathematical term. Empirical is a mathematical term. Oh, I see what you mean. So, what's wrong with using mathematics in empirical evidence? You can. Isn't it? You have Not to. For, for things like love. But I think we are talking cross purposes here. Yeah, we are. I am saying you cannot measure love. Yeah. Not that you can. The term measure was used to communicate can to you, you. Measure your God. In what terms? <coughs> that he exists? Yes. It's metaphysical. 
Okay? You know, I'll give you an example. If you're going to start looking for plastic using a metal detector, would you detect any plastic? So you're using the wrong tool if you're going to start using empirical evidence to determine the metaphysical, including angels and God. What tool do you have to use then? Of, for example, your consciousness. You use a metaphysical faculty, sorry, your faculty of reasoning, which all depends on uh, metaphys uh, which is all metaphysical to determine the metaphysical. So, so again, is that a subjective measurement? Is, it, is that a subjective? Not if, you, if you're going to talk about God. I'll tell you why. Because then I will use my logical faculty reasoning. No, no, it's still using the same thing. Are you using a subjective method? No, it's not. To it's know. Not. It's what called objective thought. reasoning. Objective reasoning? Yes. I can be objective, it's only personal to you. No, it's not. It's not. Like, remember I asked you earlier? Can something come from nothing? Is that objective? No, 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 no. Cause and effect, on, is that objective? Come on, come on. What do you mean, come on? You answered those questions already. You're shifting. No, you're backtracking. <laughs> okay, once again, can something come from nothing? Is that objective or subjective? The answer to that question, answer that question. is that subjective or... I do not answer. You answered it already. He forgot. No, no, no. Oh, man. How can you not know? I can't know because I haven't found nothing. Because it doesn't exist. I don't know. Oh, you expect to find it one day? I don't know. Wow. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Do you know? Can you define nothing? Come on, we are going back to the same thing again. Right exactly, because you've forgotten, my friend. No, no. So I have to remind you. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay, once again, does nothing exist? Because earlier you said not, no. Now not, you're saying I don't know. Not that. Not that I'm aware of. Earlier you said no, my friend. Earlier you said it's an idea, it's a concept. With the conversation. <laughs> you, you, you back, look, that's the reason I said you're backtracking now. Because it's on tape and you will realize when you, when you see, what do you mean you don't care? You don't care if you lie? You don't care if you forget? By the way, could you either? I'm human, no? Of course you are. Did I say you were alien? So, again, if we go to back to nothing, yeah. I cannot give you an example. Because it doesn't exist, my friend. Who said? Everyone. Everyone who knows about nothing, the term nothing, it implies the absence of everything, my friend. Okay? This is the simplest definition of the term nothing. Before time and space... The... Gone, gone, gone. Was there, was there nothing? Before time and space. No, there was always... God was always there. Oh, by the way, if you're talking about matter and energy, it came about into existence. It's not eternal. No scientist that I know of worth the salt and the credibility will ever say matter and energy are eternal. No one will say that. You know why? You know why? Exactly. Yes. Do you remember what it is? Energy cannot be broken. Cannot be created or destroyed. And the most important bit which everyone forgets? No. In a closed environment. Okay? In a closed system. So you need a closed system which happens to be the universe. In our case, yes, it needs to be closed system in which energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It's, it's always converted into something else. In a black hole, there's nothing. What's that? In a black oh, so now you believe in nothing? Yes. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's right actually. So that means there's nothing in there, which is agreeing with me. So now you believe in nothing. Wow. So does it exist? Yes. But there's nothing in there. <laughs> something. Have you just realized that? You said in a black hole there is nothing. Are you are you saying that nothing is something? You can be evil and can be built at the same time. That's a contradiction. It's a paradox. For you it is, yes. For me, I know for a fact that nothing doesn't exist. In a black hole. In a black hole, if there is nothing, that means nothing exists in there. <laughs> but it's something, but it's nothing. No, no, no. The black hole is something. You ask the me in You ask me inside it is nothing. Yes. There it is. But but you define something and nothing is nothing existing or not existing. Please, you're blowing my mind. Tell me about it. Because I have been consistent all along. You're the one who have changed tracks many times now. You know why? Because you cannot acknowledge that nothing is a concept and it doesn't even exist. Once you acknowledge this, once you accept, 
I'm once you're there, I'll do more research. I'll come back to you next week. I'll research on nothing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. If you want to go and look up all the definitions of nothing. Please. Okay. Can I? Yes. Thank and if they say nothing is something, yeah. then I will say that is something you define, not nothing. Okay. <laughs> anyway, by the way, the reason I asked you about something and nothing yeah. is because then the next thing is to, the cause and effect. Yeah. Because once you acknowledge that something has to be there for all of this, the universe to exist. The universe didn't come about by itself. No, it didn't. No one, no one says that. No scientist says that. Talk to me. Talk to me. Random No, no. There's no random change. What do you mean random change? Just. Who told you that? Oh, so you know there's a cost? I think it's real. All right, brother. Yes, yes. No, it's all right. The universe. Come next week. The universe is something. It's not nothing. No, no. The universe came about from nothing. But what is nothing? You don't know what's nothing. I'm gonna investigate. But you have already concluded. Yeah, it's, it's been revealed to me. <laughs> she have told me that earlier. Just like the Quran has been revealed to me. Just like a lock iron. I think yeah, he, he probably knew where I was going with the logical, um, what do you say, the logical path that I was taking. Which is first to break it down logically, rationally, from, where, from what they actually believe in. The only reason you would deny belief in God is because you just don't want to, even though rationally, logically, it would make sense to you. You just don't want to, you have put some sort of a block there, yes? And as soon as you realize that there is no other alternative for the universe to come into existence, but from something, something which is not only powerful, something which does not only have the ability to create, something that has, that is eternal and always existing, yes? Something that is intelligent. This is the only other alternative you think of because the universe is not something which is simple. It's very complex and very vast. Yes, in fact, we haven't even seen the, the whole universe yet. We haven't even determined how big it is. Okay, can you imagine how grand the creator would be, the one who created the universe and everything in it? Yes, so Alhamdulillah, I think with, with sincere people, we will get somewhere. But if people are going to keep fighting their nuts, fighting their natural disposition, then you're just lying to yourself basically. And a person who lies to themselves will not get very far. So anyway, we hope that Allah gives this brother Hidayah and all the other people. And we ask Allah to uh, keep us steadfast on our deen. Yes. And this is something that we pray to Allah. Rabbi ja'alni mukim as-salati wa min dhuriyati Rabbana wa takabbal dua Rabbana kfilli wa li waladiyya wa lil mu'minina yawma yakum al insaf Yes, but Allah keep us firm and make us firm in our salah Yes, keep us firm in the faith and keep us and make us steadfast in our salah and our offspring that means our children Allah accept our dua Yes Rabbana fili wa li waladiyya that means Allah forgive our parents wa lil mu'minin that means the believers on the day of reckoning yawma yakum al isaf jazakallah khairan assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh please everyone do subscribe to Dawa Wise this is the new channel of uh, brother uh, Mansoor brother Mansoor and uh, myself yes alhamdulillah just like the brothers here we cooperate with each other to spread the work, work, work uh, the work of Dawa so please do keep us in your duas. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.